So I have two salmon steaks here. Very simple. I took them out of the freezer, let them defrost. I have a little bit of olive oil and some butter in here. You can use ghee, which is awesome. That's great, um, a great you know, supplement for the butter. We have a beautiful little herb garden. So I've got a little bit of sage, some of our fresh sage, our fresh rosemary. Look at this, it's just so beautiful. And that's fresh thyme. The fragrance is amazing. I wish you could smell it. So there's like a little bit of butter and oil in the bottom of that. And I'm actually gonna put that right in there. Look at that. And now I've already salt and peppered these. So I'm just gonna do that because I'm gonna salt and pepper the, the other side in the pan. Now I've washed them and dried them. They were skinned um, when I purchased them. Here we go. So now I'm just gonna put a little bit of sea salt and a touch of pepper. Oh my God, the smell is so wonderful. And I'm gonna let these cook. Um, what you can do is get them, which I don't, and I need to come over here. Hello. And I need to grab a spoon because I want to kind of baste this, right? With that oil. I want to get it on both sides. I don't have a lot. Like you could really, if you really wanted like tons and oodles and oodles of flavor in this, you really could put a ton more. I'm trying not, I'm trying to be good and have some good flavor here, but not overdue. This is gonna cook very quickly. There is no char on this. There's no um, no skin. So you can see the bottom here is already starting to cook. It's already got a little bit of a layer going on. Way too soon to turn. But you can see the edges are already starting to cook. Um, the middle, of course, is still raw, not cooked. And unless I'm having sushi from, uh, you know, someone who really knows how to make sushi, I'm not into eating raw salmon unless it's prepared that way purposefully. But the smell of these herbs, oh my goodness, I can't even tell you how awesome. So we're not going to stay here forever. That's going to cook. I'm going to lower this a little bit, let this cook up. We'll come back, I'll flip it over, and I'll show you what it looks like. Hello again. All right, so look at these. Just take a peek. They're starting to really cook now, right? Which means they probably got a nice, yeah, you gotta kinda be careful. You don't wanna, be, you don't wanna splash that, right? That probably wasn't the best professional flipper over, was it? Um, you kinda wanna be gentle. Turn it right over, look at that. It's getting a nice crust, and that's really what we want. And this batch of herbs is just kinda, hanging out in the dish and flavoring up that butter and oil that is infusing into that salmon. And we're just gonna leave that, let it cook for a while, and that's really it. You wanna get it, you know, if you're doing it with skin, I would um, normally start it, uh, you know, sometimes I started it both ways, but I would start it with the, um, with the skin side down and get that nice crust on it, turn it over, let it finish cooking. Um, it just really, this is coming out really nicely. It still has just a little bit to go to cook. I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna put it into a couple of Tupperware containers, um, and those are gonna go into the fridge after they've cooled down. And we're gonna add whatever we want to do it for, for maybe have them for dinner, maybe have them for lunch, whatever it is that we decide we wanna have them for um, this week. We're gonna come back in a little bit, and um, I'm gonna show you another dish. We did a little shopping today, and um, really, I, I want to get out of my Sunday food prep like within an hour. I want to have all the stuff that I need to have done for the week pretty much done because I have other things that I need to do tonight. And I don't want to spend the whole night in the kitchen. Uh, so uh, we're doing it quick and easy by getting some prepared foods and, uh, or chopped already chopped vegetables and stuff to make things a little easier. So we'll, we'll see in a little while or in another video and um, we'll be back to make some stir fry. Hello again. All right, so look at these. Just take a peek. They're starting to really cook now, right? Which means they probably got a nice, yeah, you gotta kinda be careful. You don't wanna, be, you don't wanna splash that, right? That probably wasn't the best professional flipper over, was it? Um, you kinda wanna be gentle. Turn it right over, look at that. It's getting a nice crust, and that's really what we want. And this batch of herbs is just kinda, hanging out in the dish and flavoring up 
that butter and oil that is infusing into that salmon. And we're just gonna leave that, let it cook for a while, and that's really it. You wanna get it, you know, if you're doing it with skin, I would um, normally start it, uh, you know, sometimes I started it both ways, but I would start it with the, um, with the skin side down and get that nice crust on it, turn it over, let it finish cooking. Um, it just really, this is coming out really nicely. It still has just a little bit to go to cook. I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna put it into a couple of Tupperware containers, um, and those are gonna go into the fridge after they've cooled down. And we're gonna add whatever we want to do it for, for maybe have them for dinner, maybe have them for lunch, whatever it is that we decide we wanna have them for um, this week. We're gonna come back in a little bit, and um, I'm gonna show you another dish. We did a little shopping today, and um, really, I, don't, I wanna get out of my Sunday food prep like within an hour. I wanna have all the stuff that I need to have done for the week pretty much done because I have other things that I need to do tonight. So, the salmon is finished. Put it in these little containers right here. And um, it's nice, look at that. Look at the beautiful color on that, huh? But they're still too warm to go into the fridge. So, they're gonna hang out on the counter for a while, just until they cool down enough that I can just put the covers on them, put them in the fridge. Again, these could go on top of a salad. They could be part of another meal. I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do with them this week, but I know they're either gonna make a delicious lunch or a delicious supper. And, uh, and that's all I know. Delicious, quick and easy salmon.